Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Wild Reads. Vicky's back on the channel today. Um, we're gonna be going through the books Vicky has read this year because Vicky's reading challenge was we set ours at the same amount back in January. So you were gonna read 52, when you? I was gonna read 52. Vicky has so far read, Vicky so far has read 30 books. So probably a little bit slower than last year, but we've been doing other things this year, haven't we? Mm. So as you know, we've been up and down to Yorkshire and we've just haven't found, or you certainly, haven't found as much time probably for reading as you did last well, year. Well, I, I, I also, I, when Mum passed away, I just couldn't Yeah, you found it. You yeah. found it difficult to and get I back had into a books, didn't months you? Off, didn't I? You did, yeah. So, um, but you have read some good books. I've got a list of Vicky's books here on Goodreads. I've got her page open here on Goodreads. And I'll put a link, if you want to follow Vicky's reading or my reading, I'll put a link to both of our Goodreads in the show notes down below this video. So the first book you read this year, we're not going to go through them all one by one. We're just going to pick out some highlights um, because we've read some we've read some of the same books as well this year haven't we we have but you haven't liked them as much no. as i like them although we did agree on a few yes we did so if i um now reasons to stay alive matt haig no you didn't like it did you no. you didn't see the see i think that's a really important book for people who are um i mean not having suffered with depression or mental health issues myself I, c I can see how it could and be an important book. I you read that didn't when agree, I, did I was low. I was really low at that time, wasn't I? Yeah, and, and I, I read thought, it, and I d it did not help me one bit. Oh, see, I thought I was doing. I was. I thought I was being all helpful, and giving <laughs> Vicky this book, <laughs> which is supposed to have helped loads of people all around the world. And I, fa I found it quite interesting read, but you, you, you weren't into it, were you? You didn't think it was helpful at all. No. Right. Okay. So that's one we didn't agree on. I see you've read you've read a Grace and Perry biography here. Yeah. Was that all right or? Mm. It was all. What did I, did I rate it? Um, you rated it. <clears throat> you rated it three. Oh, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Let's lost for words. Now I remember you buying this. Lost. No, lost I didn't for words. Buy it. it was you, a birthday present. It was from a birthday present Debbie. from 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 My Debbie, sister. Vicky's sister. Dan's mum. <laughs> Dan, Dan Ball's mum. You gave it a three. You were, I remember this now because your sister texted me and said, if you've got any recommendations, mm. would she, has she read this book? And I read the blurb, but it sounds like the sort of thing she'd enjoy. But you gave it a three. So just, and I think I was being generous. Oh, it was... Was it a two and a half? It, it was... Was it not, cheesy? Yeah. A bit cheesy. Very cheesy. I think it's aimed at maybe girls in their 20s or something. Oh, okay. It just wasn't my... No, it wasn't your kind of thing. No. Right, okay. Now, a book that we both <laughs> agreed on. Eleanor Oliphant is Love completely it. fine. It was Love brilliant, it. wasn't it? I would say that is one of the best books I've ever read. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you gave it five, I gave it five. And we went, remember, we went into the Red House bookshop. Yeah. And you'd spotted one there, and they're only 30p a book, so I bought it. Oh yes, yeah, and you gave it to Debbie. Was it Debbie? Debbie, yeah. Debbie. Yeah, yeah. so brilliant book, so we both agreed on that, that was a five star. For anyone who hasn't read Eleanor Oliphant, whatever type... Get it. Yeah, get, get <laughs> it. Whatever type of books you're into, um, I think that I think that's a book everyone can enjoy, really, oh, isn't it? The, yeah. the, the character. I hope she writes about that character again. Well, they're making, they were making a film, weren't they? I think so. Yeah, I think they've sold the rights but then anyway. It's like because the book's so good. But who would play her? Who would play Eleanor? I don't know. I don't know film stars. <laughs> 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 um, but no. But what I was going to say is, if they make the film, is it going to destroy in your head the book? If it's not good. Sometimes it does. That's mm. why I don't... If I've really loved a book, apart from Howard's End, because mm. I think the adaptations are quite good for Howard's End. Okay. Right, then she was gone. Lisa Jewell. You gave her four. What was it about? It's been yeah. ten years since... Yeah, that was a right page turner. I really enjoyed that. I gave that to Debbie. Okay. Afterwards. That, yeah, that was one you just... Oh, my God, you just want to keep going. It was, yeah... So we're talking about a book called Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I've never read Lisa Jewell before. But this is another interesting thing. If you've read an author that you like mm -hmm. with a backlist 
you you don't see to me I'm completely different I will go out and I will want to read everything else that author's written but you're not like that are you no I'll tell you why because what was that one that we read the wood one um, oh the um, cottage in the wood is it that one? I can't remember. Yeah. There's so many titles that are sort of the same. And I went on eBay and bought his other two books. Oh, Robert Williams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the other two books weren't as good no. as the no. first one. So oh, okay. I just think, uh, you know, yes, yeah, some people can write, but can they can write like that consistently? So I, And also, I just think there's a massive selection of books out there. So I just sort of think, why do you want to take a gamble that he's next one or her next one's going to be good again yeah or last yeah. one or whatever yeah, that's good so yeah, yeah. so I, and i just you know we're always in second-hand bookshops so i just sort of think we are you know we let's live. try something new we live in second-hand bookshops who knows one day we might have a bookshop of our own wild reads above the door or something like that yeah anyway the vicky's tea shop right margaret foster how to measure a cow hmm. um you gave it Three, so it was just a bit meh. I bought it because I think it was set in Yorkshire. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I just thought, oh, that might be interesting, but it no, it just, as I say, I can't remember it that well because it wasn't that good. Okay, we're going we're gonna to scoot along a bit because you've got a couple here. You've got I Am Missing by Tim Weaver that you gave a three. Um, a, a Jodie Piccolo. I haven't um, read Jodie Piccolo what before. That one? This is House Rules, when your son can't look you oh, in the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, the son's the, got Asperger's. Asperger's. Yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I rate it? You didn't. Oh. No. Sometimes you, you're, you're very remiss at your ratings. <laughs> um, the Knot, Mark Watson, you yeah, gave like a five. That. Yeah, really good. That was really that. good. This, yeah. uh, the Knot I read, I buddy read with Brian from Brian's Bookshelves. I loved it. Brian loved it. And you loved it as well. Yeah, we all loved it. We all love a bit of Mark Watson. That's yeah. another writer that I want to read his other books. Because I think that... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, yeah, he was good. Wasn't he... Didn't you... What did he do for a living before? He was... He was a... He's a comedian. Oh, yeah. And a screenwriter. Yeah. Right, OK. Um, we're going to shoot along a bit here. Palace of Strange Girls. Yeah, like You gave that. a five. We bought that in Hay, didn't we? It's a brand new book, hardback, for a pound, wasn't it? Yeah. And so yeah, the, the I Palace really of Strange it. Girls by Sally Day. It was set, I think, in the 50s, I think. I can't remember now. Yeah. Um, and it's the family holiday and they go to, I think it was Blackpool. So my yeah. memory is so bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and it was just about the family and everything. And it, yeah, it was just good. It was, yeah, really good. Really good. enjoyed it, yeah. And Hoffman, The Blue Diary, you only threed. So we're going to skip that one. I can't remember it again. <laughs> I do read these books, I just can't remember them. <laughs> uh, this is going to hurt Adam Kay, Secret yeah, Diaries of a good. Junior Doctor. I yeah, love this book. enjoyed that. It, yeah. I thought it was brilliantly yeah. funny. And we saw him on Countdown, didn't we? The other day, yeah. Yeah. Beside myself and Morgan, you gave a four. Uh, yeah. No, that was, yeah, that was, I don't know why I gave it a four. I think really a three now. And it, and this is strange, isn't it? Sometimes, if you star rate a book, as soon as you finished it, you might give a different rating. So if you let that sort of roll over your mind for a couple of days, you, you sometimes you end up upgrading it. Sometimes you downgrade it. Well, I think as well, it is like now when you look at all the books and you've rated that, 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 and then you go, no, that wasn't a four because that was equal with that yeah, one there yeah. that was free and that one was there that was free. So yeah. okay. that's why I've changed my mind. Um, the Lido, Libby Page. This is one I've read recently. I think you read it straight after me. Yeah. That was all right, wasn't it? That yeah. was good. That was another bargain, wasn't it? I know, it's a couple We of... got that in Hay as well, in a charity shop. I spotted it. Oh, yeah. And it was £1.50. £1.50. And it had only been out about four weeks, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The next up, you've you've Joe cannon a couple here. So, The Trouble With Goats and Sheep, you gave a four. And three things about Elsie, you didn't like, did you? You didn't like it as much. Uh, to be quite honest... Three things about Elsie, I found a bit of a chore to read it. Oh. I had to force myself to get to the end. Really? Yeah. That is I didn't a really... find it remotely interesting or whatever, but The Trouble with Goats and Sheep, I really liked. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So... I like the end of that, though. Yeah. Oh, what, Elsie? Yeah. 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 I won't give it away, but, no. yeah. No. That, that, I thought that was quite clever. And your last book on here is Maureen Lee, Nothing Lasts Forever. Right. 
This is this the one you've just finished, or the one you're reading now? No, I finished it now. Right. I rated that a four. I really enjoyed it. It's really. Are you going to upgrade that to a five? No. Is, it, is no. this is this the slightly cheesy, old-fashioned type book? Well, yeah. Cozy. Is it a cozy? Cozy. Book? cozy yeah, book? and I really enjoyed it. And it's about it's about um, this woman who she's got another house that they used to rent out and everything, and she leaves her husband, and then she rents out the rooms and three other women move in so it's four women living in their house and they've all got their own stories and it's just about them and relationships and and it i just really enjoyed it it's just it's old-fashioned but it was really good it was just you could just it was one of them books you could just escape into and, 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 and get lost in yeah. yeah, and you wanted to pick it up again because you wanted to sort of go, oh, I want to feel like that again. And so Maureen Lee has written quite a few other books. Yeah. Are you going to look... Because you obviously really enjoyed that and you're going to upgrade that to a five right. from a four, aren't you? Is that what you said? No. No, I'll keep it as a four. But Right, so are you going to read some more books from Maureen Lee? Because if I click on this, it will tell me yeah, how many but, she's written. But, oh, this is. yeah. Yeah, I've oh, seen she, yeah, a... she's got loads. Okay. Yeah, so, I know. But she's from Bootle from... in Liverpool. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of their books. I've, I sort of saw the titles. I think they are like all based in Liverpool. But I don't. I wouldn't go out my way to find her books because, and I don't know whether I read any because I go into the bookshops, second hand ones, charity shops, whatever, and look at the backs of them. If I picked one of hers up and the back was interesting. Then yes, I'll buy it, but I wouldn't go looking for her stuff. No. It'd just be if I found it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Yeah. And then I've learnt my lesson. I would then <laughs> 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 open the book yeah. and read at least the first page because I've done that so many times. I've thought, oh, that sounds really interesting. And then started reading it and gone, oh. Oh, Vicky wants to talk uh, about this book. Go well, on then. <laughs> I keep nagging. Dave to read it. Why are we talking about this one? You read this last year. I know, but I just wanted to put it out there. I want to see if anyone else has read it. Because All right, has anyone else read this book? Right, it's called Fishbowl by Bradley Som Summer. Summer? Summer. Fishbowl by Bradley Sommer. Sommer. Yes, it's you like... rated it five stars. You read it in September last year. <laughs> but it's really good. It's like, I can't remember all of it now, but it's got it, like... It was that good. No, no, but I want to. You were talking about rereading. Yeah. I want to reread that because Ooh. it was so good. Reread it. Then. Well, I will, but I want you to read it as well. Right. But there was. A, it was about this big block of flats and uh, all the people that live in there, and then all the stories at the very end all go into each other. It's just so clever. It, it really I good? love that one. She loved that. Buy one. it if you see it. Eleanor Oliphant. So that's the best book you've read so far <laughs> this year. Yes. Eleanor Oliphant. Yeah. And Fishbowl. Fishbowl last year. Was that yeah. your book of the year? No, it wasn't. Keeper of Lost Things was your book last year, same as mine. I didn't have a book of the year. Didn't you? No. Oh, you don't do book of the year, do you? <laughs> I do book of the year. <laughs> no, I think Fishbowl was... I keep changing my book of the year. I, I thought it was one thing. Now I'm reading a book that I think might be my book of the year. Oh, is that cat one? The cat one. Brilliant. Anyway, that's the end of the video. We've come to the <laughs> end of going through Vicky's reading. Thank you for coming on the channel, Vicky. It's good to have you... You're it's good to have it's you back. Nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. I'll be back on Wednesday night with another video, whatever you're doing this week. Enjoy your books, and I'll see you back here on Wednesday for another BookTube video. Until then, take care. Bye. 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 Bye.